And hello, hello, hello again, my beautiful Scorpios. And welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. Any music you hear in the background, I do not own any rights to. This is a general read. So it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Because we're all masculine and feminine energies. Just find your place in the story. If I'm reading and it doesn't fit you, and if it sounds like your person, then just switch the roles. Um... Uh, thank you guys again for all the likes, share, comments, and the donations. Um, I really, greatly, really appreciate it. If you'd like to like, share, comment, or donate, or even book a personal reading, all my information is below in the description box. Um, what else? Okay, so this is a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Scorpio for August 1st through the 15th, Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Okay, so can I get one card for Scorpio and your finances? Thank you. Okay, so we have balance for your finances. Okay, Spirit. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their love life. What's going on with Scorpio in their love life, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in love from August 1st through the 15th. One last time. What's going on with love? I thank you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Can I get one card for Scorpio in the love? Thank you. Okay, so straight off the back, we got Seek the Truth, okay? Okay, you guys, so let's get into this. Okay, Spirit, so this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with their finances for August 1st to the 15th? So I see balance here straight off. I feel like um, if you haven't been balancing out your money, you need to, to find balance. Um, if you're spending more than you have coming in, it's time to put some up and save, okay? Put some away for a rainy day. Um, it's great to spend because for you to spend more comes in. That's just how the, the universal law of attraction works. But you also need to find balance. You know what I'm saying? You need to find... Oh, okay, I just got another message. You might need to find a balance between work and family as well, okay? You may be working too much. Thank you, Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But we're finna get into this, and we're gonna find out exactly what this balance is. Okay. Uh oh. Almost knocked the camera over, guys. Sorry. Okay, Spirit. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. So um, I do feel like you're you. This is balance. Okay. This is also to me is a balance card as well with the eleven, eleven, the twin friends. But I feel like there's there's gonna be stability. Here, um, this is a celebration card. I do feel like there's going to be some type of celebration within your finances coming in. You're going to be able to feel balanced, okay? So maybe you haven't been feeling like your finances have been in a great place lately. You've been feeling unbalanced. Like maybe you couldn't make ends meet. I do see that um, there is balance coming in. Okay. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so I have the Page of Swords here. Um, this could be some type of um, somebody stalking you. <laughs> but no, this is, a, in, in a finance reading, this is, to me, this is my online card. So this could be you either working from home. This could be um, you having an online business, whether it's um, selling stuff, making creative projects and, and, and putting them online. This could be having a YouTube channel. This could be um, Instagram. This is just something that has to do with working over the internet or working from home. Okay, so a home-based business. Yeah, okay, so I do feel like um, there has been some issues with your finances because it's the Queen of Pentacles who is normally stable in reverse. So this is like feeling lack. This is feeling like you haven't been stable. 
Um, with the Justice card, I feel like you're going to get the stability now. Karma is changing. It's, it's, it's coming into your circle. Things are going to be balanced out now. Where there felt, where there was a time in your life where you felt like there was a lack or you, were, you didn't have enough, you're going to no longer feel that way. Okay, there is a change in your finances coming. What's this Justice card, Spirit? What's this Justice card? Okay, yeah. So, um, this is the the Moon card is something coming to light, being enlightened, okay? So, I do feel like you're going to be enlightened about some type of, could be an investment that you're, um, that you put into, um, could be... Some kind of court um, case you might have had going on. Some money within a court case coming in. Balance, you're going to get justice there. No longer feeling trapped. You're no longer feeling stuck, okay? So I do feel like you're going to have some type of money, financial come, some type of financial flow coming in. And you're going to um, get word of this soon, okay? Um, like I said, this could be some type of inheritance coming in. This could be... Uh, some type of judgment within a court case coming in. This could be you getting karmic justice um, for effort that you put into an online business or a business that you owned of your own. Um, some type of working from home business. Can I get one more card, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, so there's going to be big changes. There's big changes coming within your finances, okay? Um, and I do feel like they're coming in within the next few weeks. Can you tell me what this moon and the tower is together? That's like manipulation. Who's playing with your money? Okay. Um, okay. So, yes, I do feel like there was some type of manipulation with your money. Um, I do feel like in the past... Um, Yeah, I do feel like there's somebody who had been playing with your money. They might even stole from you. But um, Spirit is saying you have a new beginning coming, okay, in your finances. You're going to get justice. So whatever was taken from you in the past, however, um, whether it was a job that you didn't get promotion for, whether someone lied on you at work, um, whether you've been doing this business and you feel like it's slow and it hasn't been moving forward, it's been stagnant, um, there's a change coming in this, okay, and it's a big change coming. It's moving for the better, okay, so it's a new beginning. A new beginning. Either could be a new job coming in. It could be your business picking up. It could be some type of inheritance or some type of court case um, being settled in your favor. But it's positive, okay? Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of um, wands. You're just waiting for your ships to come in, okay? So, yes, it looks really good. You've been through a lot, Libra, but that's, that's coming to an end. You're going to be able to find that balance that you've been looking for. And I feel like um, if you've been working a lot because because you're a single parent and you haven't been able to treat yourself, you're going to be able to have a time now where you're going to have enough money where you can treat yourself, where you can find balance between family, self-love, um, where you're not having to work as hard. Okay? So, Spirit, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus in love. You want clarity on the seek the truth. Okay. So with this love here on seek the truth, Libra, I feel like there may be two people that you have to choose between. Um, I do feel like you've been praying. Um, Spirit is saying you need to use your intuition. Seek the truth. I feel like one person here may be just gaming you. Um, they're just telling you what you want to hear, and I feel like the other person may be really sincere about this relationship. Um, or I feel like, because I'm getting another story here, that someone else had two choices to choose between, and they're choosing you, but you need to seek the truth or you're finding out that somebody has another option. Spirit, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus in love. What's the seek the truth, Spirit? What truth are we seeking? Okay. 
So straight off the back, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You've been holding back from this connection, from this commitment, okay? Um, I do feel like you've been holding on to your heart, to your feelings. Um, either you're holding on to offering a commitment to someone, or you're holding on to accepting the to accepting the offer of commitment to someone. Okay. What's this four of pentacles and four of wands spirit? Four four. Um guys check um angel number four four, okay? And we also have seven and eleven here too, so I do feel like it may be um and the four of wands is my twin flame as well. I do feel like you might have a um a divine connection here with someone, but you're holding on to your feelings. You're holding on to your feelings and you're all up in your head about this, okay? Um Either you're all up in your head about this person, or this person is all up in their head about you. But um, someone does want to come and speak their truth. They want to come and offer clarity. About this commitment. Yeah. <laughs> and about the future. Three of Wands. They're looking out towards the future. They're waiting for their ships to come in. Spirit, what's this for? Pentacles. Justice. Okay. So I do feel like you're holding on to, to your feelings and your emotions because um, you've been hurt in the past and you're not sure if this is really going to give you equal give and take. If this person is really sincere about um, their feelings, about this commitment that they're coming towards you with. What's this Four of Wands, Spirit? What's the Four of Wands? But I do feel like you're getting, this person is, is, is sincere that's coming towards you. What's the Four of Wands, Spirit? I seek the truth, Four of Wands, for Libra. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, so we have um, Death and Rebirth. And it's the Infinity sign, which is also to me like a Twin Flame sign. Which is next to this justice card, which is 11, which is also twin flame to me. So I feel like this is a spiritual connection. I feel like um, you're closing out old cycles and, you, and you're, you're moving forward. Towards this commitment. If you haven't closed out this cycle, but you are, you're a little hesitant, okay? You're a little held back. If you haven't started moving towards this commitment, I do feel like you're going to move towards this commitment. I do feel like you're going to get justice, a karmic balance here. Um, what's this? Yeah. So you're closing out old cycles and, and you're starting a new cycle and you're gonna get karmic balance this time around, okay? Um in the in the past you've been hurt, you've been deceived, you've been lied to, you might have been cheated on. This time, this is different, okay? And that's why Spirit is saying seek the truth. You know, don't just go off of um past things, okay? Really sit down and, and pay attention to this person, okay? Because this is a this is a connection that um is a divine connection. And and you're closing out old cycles, starting new cycles. This is this is a karmic cycle here, okay? And I feel like this is a good karmic cycle. Okay, what's this ace of swords spirit? Yeah. Queen of Swords. So yeah, you've been in your head, you've been guarded. Um, because of your past, because of past hurts. But um and and you feel like if someone's not coming to offer you the truth. And, and clarity, then then you're not really open, okay? But I do feel like this person is going to come and offer you truth and clarity. I do feel like they're going to come and let you know how they really feel about you. Okay, this is three of wands for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love, and Seeking this Truth. I do feel like this person has really been in their head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have judgment again, which is also me feeling like you're going to get, <laughs> and it's you, your energy, Libra. Um, no, this is not Libra I'm doing. This is Scorpio. I'm sorry if I called you guys Libra. Um, but this is you guys getting balanced, finding self-love. I feel like you're awakening, you're moving, you're, you're moving 
to higher vibrational planes, okay? Um, I do feel like you're being enlightened about this relationship, about who this person is to you, whether you're male or female. Um, I feel like you feel it in your spirit. Like you know that this person is more than just, uh-huh. That this person is more than just somebody who just passed by. This is a, a divine connection here. And I do feel like you want this this new beginning with this person. This Ace of Wands. Um, a new passionate, fiery beginning. So I see this with you guys. Closing out an old cycle of being hurt and leaving um, that negativity and, and all the BS in the past. And moving towards this new passionate love. This new, new awakening feeling and fire and desire that I feel like you've been missing for a long, long time, Scorpio. Yeah. Walking away from the burdens, leaving all of the BS in the past and moving towards something new, something bright, something beautiful. Finally getting your, your, your just do in love. Is that a spirit? Before we go, I just want to leave you guys with a Chakra Wisdom card. I want to give a shout out to my best friend who gifted these cards to us over the weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, sis. I appreciate you. Um, once again, you guys, please like, subscribe, comment, share. It's all welcome and appreciated. And I send the love back to you guys ten times fold. Um, once again, thank you for the donations. If you'd like to donate, the information is down below in the description box. I am available for personals. All that information is down below in the description box. Um, okay. In the Father's in the Holy Spirit. Okay, Spirit, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? That's a lot. That's too many spirits. Uh -oh. This is for Scorpio, y'all. That one. I'm trying to do just in case it's something else for Scorpio. That one, okay. I knew it was another one, okay. So, first card we have here is the first chakra. Base chakra, it is dealing with independence. I know what my needs are, and I actively, I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for, and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. And then the last card we have here is knowledge. It's the sixth chakra, third eye chakra, okay? I recognize that a great deal of knowledge and information comes to me in the form of intuition, such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, and super sensitive feelings. I use my intellect combined with my intuition to dwell into circumstances from a philosophical, philosophical, girl, you guys, my tongue is not working right now. Philosophical, you guys, you know what I'm saying. And spiritual viewpoint. <laughs> Philosophical. Thank you. And spiritual viewpoint. I aim to understand the truth behind situations that come my way. As this helps me to respond with wisdom. I cultivate positive beliefs about life, myself, and others. Okay, Scorpio. Until next time. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. Light and love. Mwah. Bye, you guys.